If you want to become a better Unreal Engine artist, you need to understand the different light systems. They can get quite overwhelming, especially at the beginning. But before you even ask why there are so many light systems, you need to understand the following. Light systems in Unreal Engine try to mimic the light in our real world. And that's quite complex and performance intense. Each lighting system portrays light in a different detailed way. Think about drawing a picture. You can either draw a stick man or you can create a full blown masterpiece. And that's how you can imagine light systems in Unreal Engine. To get control over these lighting systems, you need to add a post process volume to your scene. In the details panel, you should first and foremost make sure that the post process volume covers the entire scenery. You do that by simply searching for infinity and enabling this option right here. Now we can search for the lighting systems by typing in global. And there are our different options. Let's start with our first system, the global illumination that doesn't exist. And what I mean by that is that this is the simplest way of light system in Unreal Engine. It is a system that only shows the direct lighting of your scene. That means there's no indirect lighting, no light reflections and therefore no physical accurate lighting at all. It is the stick man of lighting. But that doesn't mean that this lighting system is bad. You can use it for scenes that don't require physical accurate lighting. Scenes where your performance would otherwise suffer. Think about a production team that draws entire storyboards. They don't draw the Mona Lisa every time they create a new shot. They use simple basic drawings. The Lumen system on the other hand is Unreal Engine's flagship. This is a system that tries to mimic how real life lighting behaves. It might not be physically accurate, but it looks very convincing. This was a huge thing when it first came out, because Epic Games delivered a system that looks so damn good and at the same time doesn't let your PC explode. It is perfect for real time productions, games or even cinematic work. Screen space global illumination is kind of the grandpa of Lumen. It was used back in Unreal Engine 4 and although it looks good and mimics light in a solid way, it only does that with objects that are visible inside of your viewport. So after enabling it, you can see that everything off screen will not be rendered. Even reflections that should still be visible in your viewport. Therefore, this weird plopping effect can happen where things just randomly show up once you move your viewport. It is an easy way to get indirect lighting without worrying too much about your performance. Therefore, it is mostly used for games. Ray tracing, on the other hand, is kind of the premium version of Lumen. You see, Lumen uses ray tracing all the time, but it doesn't calculate light in a physical accurate way. But when hardware ray tracing is enabled, it can actually create physical accurate lighting. Therefore, you get better indirect lighting and reflections. To enable it, we need to open up our project settings. On the left side, we scroll down until we find rendering. Now let's scroll down again until we see the options of hardware ray tracing. Now let's enable this option right here and while we are at it, let's also enable path tracing for later on. We can now scroll up a little bit and also enable use hardware ray tracing when enabled. Now we are set and we can restart our project. But for all of you guys who use Unreal Engine 5.2 or older, you may find this global illumination option called standalone ray tracing. This was the old version of ray tracing that didn't work with Lumen yet. It was really heavy on the performance side and Epic Games got rid of it. Now hardware ray tracing with Lumen is still real time, but you need a good PC setup and a graphic card that is able to ray trace. Path tracing is the final boss of light systems in Unreal Engine. It gives you a complete accurate lighting system, but to enable it, we actually need to move out of the post process volume and head to the viewport options. We can now choose the path tracing view and see how the engine starts to calculate each light bounce. This light system gives you the best lighting results compared to real life, but it is not real time anymore. Whenever you even move your mouse button across the viewport, the engine needs to recalculate everything again. That's why path tracing is used for the absolute final product and for big production movies. 
On top of that, rendering out on path tracing takes a long time and that's why small artists like us mostly use it for single shots instead of whole animated scenes. Now if we create an overview with performance compared to quality, you can structure the different lighting systems the following way. Lumen takes the golden middle, since it balances performance with visibly convincing light. Screen space and no global illumination at all are obviously the powerhouses of performance. Ray tracing and path tracing will give you amazing results, but they eat up your performance like nothing else. With that being said, I hope you guys got a better overview with all the different illumination methods and you learned something new.